Hmm. What beer do you want? Well, I was going to have that one. I was going to have that one. Dibs. Dibs. Well, as it turns out, we had two, so we don't have to share. Hey guys, welcome back to Till Beard Was Part. We review all things craft beer on this channel. So if you're new, don't hit Dan. And consider subscribing now. Hit the like thing and comments and stuff. Why are you already pouring this? You are taking forever. Today we are reviewing a beer from Triptych called Dibs. Stands for Desert Island Beer Series. And this particular one is a Saison with rye in it. And you know how much that I love rye. And Saison. And Saison. And rye Saison. And Triptych. So this particular beer comes in at... 5%. Zero IB. Well, not zero IB. None. No IB. None. Listed. Unknown. There are no IBUs in this beer. So Anthony, the, the head brewer, owner, creator of Triptych, uh, said that this was a, a series that he would like to continue. And this is the first one of his beers that he would like to drink on a desert island. And you know what? Saison's probably up there on my list too. It is. And you had a really wimpy pour because I got a nice, almost two fingers worth of this beautiful white head. I did so, not have an aggressive pour on it. But I didn't even aggressively pour it. I just correctly poured it. Um, getting into looks, it's just ever so slightly hazed, but mostly clear. Basically clear, just kind of straw colored. Yeah. I'm gonna smell the it though. Smells like a Saison. It smells mm -hmm. Belgian-y, kind of yeasty. Yeah. I think you get a little bit of a rye spice smell. It's subtly. It mm. kind of reminds me of a smell more like Saison Dupont. I don't think they use rye yeah. in Saison Dupont, but that's just like, it's just got that I very crisp, slightly citrusy kind of smell to it. I think this smells like a little bit of spicy compared to the Saison Dupont. The yeast, tend, the, the Belgian yeast tend to have a little bit of spice notes to them. Let's drink. All right. Prost. Prost. Mmm, that is, dare I venture to say I like this already better than Saison Dupont? Oh, I'm not going to go there. I thought that, that one was very, like, a lot more, like, alcohol flavored. It's estery. Yeah, it had a lot of estery flavors. But this one is still, this is easy drinking. This is smooth. It's a very crisp Saison. It does have some pepper mm. notes. It's definitely got a lot of tropical kind of flavors in it. More, not necessarily, I would say more tropical than citrus. Yeah. You know, uh, a lot of Saisons tend to have, like, kind of like a lime or lemony kind of taste to it. I'd say this is has a hint of that, but it's more on the on the tropical side than I definitely, I can't necessarily pick out a specific tropical fruit, but it's more like a generic tropical essence. And there is some... Ooh. Wait, sorry, interrupt. Word of the day is essence. I forgot to put it on the last one. I know. Uh, I think... Also, you hit my leg. I think with most Saisons, and especially one that has rye in it, the, the spice notes are noticeable. They're, mm -hmm. they're, they're really nice. Uh, they, they kind of sit in, in the finish more than anything. Yeah. It's, uh, so I'm gonna skip mouthfeel. Hopefully I don't forget about it. Because you know how much I forget about mouthfeel. Um, yeah, I definitely get some of it. But the rye isn't overpowering. I feel like we've had some rye beers in yesteryears where the rye has been like, which maybe you enjoy. But for me, that's a little too I can't, much. I can't like it like that. I do like it like that. I like it like that. I like it like that. Not a Brutoons. No, not no. a Brutoons. The mouthfeel though. Let's yeah. not forgetteth about the mouthfeel. As crisp as as the taste is, I am going to give this a light plus on the mouthfeel. I'm gonna go medium minus. Uh, okay. I think it's just got, because it just has some pretty bold flavors got on the, at the very end, it makes me think that it's a heavier beer than it actually is. That's all, I mean. It's got some cojones, so it's got some. You say that in every got video. got a ball sack now. You, you say that in every video. Well, I want people to know how heavy and the ball of sack the, of this beer is. I cut it out. How dare you? I'm gonna call dibs on some ratings. It's a very strong saison, just not hitting the uh, the the right note that uh, you know that special note, the brown like the brown note, but the gold note. It can't hit the gold note. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a silver. I really like the uh, the Belgian yeast flavors that it presents, but it's still uh, still missing that that certain thing. Well, I'm just here to tell you that you're wrong. I'm giving this a gold. I think it hits the gold note, whatever that is. And I just made it up. Trademark. <laughs> Patent pending. It reminds me of beers we had in Belgium, for sure. It's definitely got that Belgian-y taste, but it also has like a unique twist to it to make it, it not 
repetitive or redundant to anything we did have in Belgium. I would give so. it a goal for re how refreshing it is. And today yeah. it was like close to 100, so. Well, I with the heat index, it was well over 100 here in Illinois, so. Hitting the spot. Absolutely. All right, guys, that was our review of Dibs from yeah, Triptych. Yes. No, it's Dibs. I called Dibs, I'm calling it Dibs. Maybe he'll make the next one shotgun. And that'll be a necronym. For what? Is it an acronym for Shh. what? I don't know. Okay. For Lager, for Porter, and Bottles are on draft. We're your favorite couple for all things beer. On a desert island? You don't have to add something every time. <laughs> you know that, right? No. Oh, yeah. Ooh. My tongue is burnt. You didn't notice? I don't know what happened. Also, you've got sauce still there. That was in the last video. Oh, my God. <sighs> I can't bring him anywhere. Why did you make me burn my tongue on that? I didn't make you burn your tongue. You can't taste any of it? Not in the front. All I get is the... You can only do butt stuff with the spears? Is that what you're telling me? This will keep you from talking about it too long, though. Maybe we should burn your tongue more often. That's rude. It doesn't look any different. Oh. Like, I, cause I taste it, it and it just, like, I can tell exactly where it is, because, like, I, I take a sip, and it's just, like, an area where there's nothing. Usually you're very sensitive to the temperature of your food. I'm surprised you didn't notice that right away. <laughs>